Hello techies, welcome to this session. My name is Yogesh Kuma. In session today, we are going to talk about public key authentication or passwordless SSH on the Linux systems. Friends, uh, actual technical term is public key authentication, but many times it is also referred as passwordless SSH or passwordless authentication. So they are same terms. What it means, public key authentication allows a user to log into a remote system using SSH protocol without a password. And uh, public key authentication is more secure than password based authentication. Few scenarios where public key authentication or passwordless authentication is used. First, automation tools to work such as Ansible or Salt. Then for your cluster setups, let's say you're setting up Oracle Rack or VCS, then you need uh, passwordless authentication to work. For your infrastructure management, for example, your jump servers, from your jump servers, you want passwordless connectivity to most of your client systems because uh, that will make your infrastructure management easy. Another thing which I thought automated file transfers in case of FTP servers, let's say you have set it as job which will transfer files from one server to other on a specific time, let's say at some particular time which you want to automate. So for that automation you need uh, passwordless SSH connection which can be achieved by generating public keys and uh, setting up uh, as per procedures there are again multiple scenarios I have listed couple of those but those may depend upon your requirements so how it works from source servers you generate uh, keys so to generate keys command is SSH dash keygen I have listed couple of other optional features if you want to specify because by default if you don't specify type it's a uh, RSA and uh, personally I prefer RSA because it got uh, more benefits if I compare with DSA type of keys so I have listed couple of uh, features minus B is bits like you can specify number of bits uh, by default RSA takes 2048 uh, and minimum is 768 I believe uh, so I always stick with default bits I'm never specifying custom bits minus T is type as I mentioned you can generate DSA keys ECDSA keys or RSA keys if you don't specify type RSA is default and uh, as I mentioned I prefer RSA keys minus C is for new comment let's say you want to put comment okay why these keys were generated or what is the purpose of these keys so you can put a comment but again these are optional features the main command is SSH keygen here okay once you generated keys you have to update the keys on remote host for that uh, you go to multiple ways one way like uh, you can copy the public key from your source server and uh, put it on uh, authorized key underscore keys file on uh, the target machine other way you can use SSH copy ID uh, that's the easiest way which I think so in this way like you copy keys from source machine to target machine so basically you are copying public keys okay and after that you can test whether public key authentication is working so simply from source servers SSH to target server with a user for which you copied the keys again one thing I want to mention uh, because I learned this thing from one of my senior and uh, really I am very thankful to my senior he explained uh, this SSH thing uh, in very helpful way okay what is public key and what is private key many guys are confused on this particular term many times so for make it simple okay let's say you got one lock and with that lock there is a particular key which you can use to open or use that lock right so your public key is the lock I'm repeating your public key is the lock and your private key is the key to open that lock so you can put that lock anywhere but uh, to open that particular lock you need 
that specific key which is public key so again repeating your public key is the lock and private key is the key to open that lock so I believe that will give you some sense uh, about SSH keys so let's begin session technically let me show you my setup here if you see this is my source server this is my target machine okay so for this demo I'm going to use user root for generating the keys okay so first thing which I have to do I have to generate keys for my root user so to generate key SSH keygen as I mentioned you can uh, use optional features let's say a minus T for type of key and uh, minus B bit and minus C for comment but I'm not using I'm just uh, generating a key if you see by default it is generating RSA public private key pair okay so when you generate key that is always a key pair I mean you will get a private key and public key it's never you will get only public key or private key so that's a pair okay so if you see here by default key is getting generated into home directory of root user inside that there is hidden directory dot ssh and id underscore rsa that's a key type so that's rsa key pressing enter here and uh, no need to type any password press enter here and repeat enter if you see your key is generated and uh, let's verify whether this file exists or not because it will be dot this is your private key and if you see this is your private key now and this is your public key so when you have to share this key with someone like who want to log in or set a pass passwordless SSH you need to share public key okay so let me show you content of this public key okay if you see on my screen uh, so this key is generated by user root on source server and this is RSA key right so let's begin uh, next step to copy this key to target machine as I mentioned you can just simply copy this key like from here to your target machines user and that's simple but uh, again uh, I want to use SSH copy command uh, to transfer my key to target machine. Before that, I want to show you right now password less authentication is not working. Let me show you. If you see right now, it is asking for password. I'm pressing Control C here. Okay, so let's copy the keys SSH copy ID root target server pressing enter so I'm typing password of target machine and if you see number of keys added one so it mean my public key got added to target machines root users account so let's do next step So let's verify on uh, target machine whether key actually got copied or not it should be but again uh, it's good to check so ls minus l slash root dot ssh if you see this file got just created one minute back and this file got public key if you want to verify yeah so this is from source server what's the benefit of using uh, this particular command ssh dash copy dash id because if you are not using this command uh, what you have to do you have to create a dot ssh directory if that not already exists then you have to create authorized underscore key file and parallelly you have to change permission and ownership so couple of manual steps with this command it takes care about everything and what's the beauty of ssh copy id command uh, if key is already present let's say we have already verified key is present now because it got copied let me repeat this command let's say by accidentally you repeat this command then what will happen if you see it is saying 
attempting to log in with new key to filter out that are already installed so all keys were skipped because they already exist on remote system so that's beauty of this command if your key is already there same key then it will not do anything it will skip that key so I'm sure you will like this command so our key setup is done so next thing let's verify whether passwordless SSH is working really so I'm just copying this command which we tried earlier last time it asked for password so this time if you see we are logged into target server so it means our passwordless authentication is working so that's very easy friends three steps but why I took time I want to explain like how these keys work what are the options we can use and uh, always remember that key and lock theory so your private key is your key and your lock is your public key okay so in this demo I used root user if you want to set up keys for some different user generate key from that user account and while transferring those key to target machine use that particular user account for example you generated key for test user so here SSH as test user on your target machine and make sure that user exists otherwise you can't SSH or transfer the keys so thanks for watching this session friends if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.